Now, there's so many different types of lenses that sometimes it gets really confusing. I wanted to get on here and explain about bifocal lenses. Now, bifocal lenses sometimes get a bad rap, but bifocal lenses are basically lenses that allow you to see two different distances in the one lens, not at the same time, but the there's two different prescriptions in the one lens. Now they do that by creating an area that has a line around it. So you can see down the bottom here, there's a segment and that's the reading area. So the top is for the distance and the bottom is the reading area. Okay, so we can choose to make that top set for the computer distance and the bottom for reading if that's what you're after or you know um, it's standard it's distance and reading now normally bifocal lenses you can see that the top of the bifocal is actually sitting on my lower eyelid and that's where a normal bifocal segment actually sits because then it's below your line of vision and it doesn't impact when you're walking around recently we had a customer want their bifocal remade up here and i pointed out that that's probably not going to work very well because they'd have to be doing something like this to walk around because as you can see that's right in the center of your vision um, and the top of a bifocal if you didn't already know is a prism so initially when you get your bifocal lenses when your eyes flick through that top line of the segment you get what we call as an optometrist image jumps so things move up and down now it doesn't take very long to adjust to that and your brain just skips through that area and you stop seeing things move but initially that can be a bit of a strange occurrence and it takes a little bit of getting used to if it's in front of your eyes normally i can just yeah i don't see it working out but anyway I just wanted to explain what a bifocal lens is and sometimes I think that they're undervalued um, just because people don't like to be able to see that line, the segment, but they work really well because you get to use that whole top area for distance as opposed to a progressive lens where you've only got corridors of clear vision. Okay, so hopefully that helps.